During the Renaissance, artists were not merely painters or sculptors, they were chemists, alchemists and scientists before their time. To create the colors that still captivate us in the masterpieces of Leonardo, Michelangelo, or Botticelli, they relied on secret and complex recipes, mixtures born of experimentation, intuition, and often, pure risk. One of the most extraordinary pigments was ultramarine blue, considered the most precious color in the world. It didn't come from a common mineral but from lapis lazuli, a semi-precious stone mined by hand in the remote mountains of Afghanistan. To obtain just a few grams of this deep blue, artists had to grind, wash, separate and purify the pigment with oil and wax, a painstaking process that could take weeks. The result was a color of such brilliance that it was worth more than gold. It was reserved for the most sacred or significant parts of a painting. The mantle of the Virgin Mary, for example, was often painted exclusively with this rare and noble pigment. Behind every brushstroke of the Renaissance, there was not only artistic talent, but also a science of color, a world of workshops, guarded secrets, and a profound desire to capture the very essence of light. In an era when art and science walked hand in hand, colors were not mere materials, they were fragments of knowledge, alchemy, and human wonder. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and follow other interesting videos. Thanks.